It's a weekday afternoon on the streets of Portland, Oregon. Portland police officers are on patrol looking for crime, but these days they're finding less of one kind. Sergeant Jay Bates with the Drug and Vice Division remembers the way it used to be. That's all we did all day, every day, was process methamphetamine labs. That was years ago. In 2005, 192 meth labs were found across Oregon. Last year, only 13. So how did Oregon do it? Oregon State Senator Jenny Burdick was one of several lawmakers who came up with a solution. We had uh, just a meth lab epidemic. Uh, that was fueled by the easy access to pseudoephedrine. Pseudoephedrine is the key ingredient in the meth making process. It's found in many popular cold and allergy medications. In 2004, drugs containing pseudoephedrine were moved behind the counter in Oregon, and the amount of it customers could buy was limited, similar to the system currently used in Oklahoma. Burdick decided for Oregon it wasn't enough. It was on both sides of the aisle, the Democrats and the Republicans saw it as a crisis. So they went to work, and in 2005, Oregon became the first state in the nation to make all drugs containing pseudoephedrine available by prescription only. Not everyone here in Portland agrees that the law has been a major success. One Portland Drug Rehabilitation Center we spoke with that did not want to appear on camera told us after the law was passed, they saw only a slight reduction in the number of meth users coming into their center. Oregon's health authority agrees it hasn't done much to the number of addicts. Officials say meth is still being shipped into Oregon from surrounding states, even from Mexico. Even so, everyone we spoke with is in agreement. The law has been successful in greatly reducing the number of meth labs. We talked about yesterday were, were the different type of reporting systems each state has. At this meeting at the Oklahoma State Capitol in October, Oklahoma State Senator Kim David asked for opinions from experts on whether making pseudoephedrine prescription only would reduce the number of meth labs in the Sooner State. She believes it would. While David admits getting a prescription for basic allergy medications may be a nuisance for Oklahomans, she feels it's worth the effort to help rid the state of meth labs and spare Oklahomans the high costs and safety risks the labs bring with them. It's more of an inconvenience, though, for our taxes to drastically increase, um, for our police and fire officers to put their lives on the line, for the fires that happen. I mean, you can just go on down the list. What's a little inconvenience? But Broken Arrow doctor and state representative Mike Ritz isn't sure the law is necessary. It's going to create a much more intense situation for people to having to come to the doctor for simple problems that could be solved with an over-counter medicine. Instead, Dr. Ritz would like the state to join the National Precursor Log Exchange, already in use in 17 other states. Known as NPLEX, it operates in real time, allowing law enforcement to find out who's buying large amounts of pseudoephedrine. NPLEX would also track what accused Oklahoma meth cooks are buying across state lines, something Oklahoma's current system does not do. Back in Oregon, Senator Burdick says her law would be better for Oklahoma. A prescription for pseudoephedrine will end home meth labs in your state.